Today, I'm gonna to tell you about my favorite Blender add-on. Now, I don't use a ton of add-ons. I like a couple. There's a couple that really, I think, help me in my workflow. I'm more of an asset man. <laughs> but the reason I love this add-on specifically is because it facilitates that bad habit of only really valuing 3D assets. Uh, so Polyhaven, in case you don't know already, there used to be this website called HDRI Haven and they would just have these free HDRIs on there and then they eventually grew to have textures and now 3D models. Now there's Poly Haven so I think pol Polygon 3D and then maybe Poly also because multiple havens like HDRI Haven or Texture Haven, Model Haven. Hmm, that's fucking genius. By the way, this video is not sponsored or anything by them. I just really like this and I figured I'd share. So you can go to their website and just download everything as you normally would, all the HDRIs, all the models, all the textures, and they update them constantly. Like you can go and you can just download them, any resolution, free, commercial, all that kind of stuff. But the add-on is just purely a quality of life thing. And what I mean by that is it brings the whole library, their whole asset library to Blender through the asset browser. And so you can see here, there's a couple of categories here for the HDRIs, for their, I think these categories match what's on their website. So textures, you can search for stuff. Just the way that the asset browser is designed is great. Couple of extra bonus things that I like about this add-on specifically, that additional quality of life things. Again, like the quality of life thing is a big thing for me. It's like removing as much friction between the idea and the execution of the idea. So give you assets, make them perfect, you make the textures drag and drop. That's why I love using the asset browser. You can just drag and drop materials onto your scene as you need, and you don't really have to think about it too much on the technical side. Uh, same thing with their models. Like not, not only are their models good, but they're also like, some of them have geometry nodes functionality. And like, no one, no one is like asking for that. They're just doing it. And I think that's awesome. I mean, I don't know, call me a fanboy. I don't care, but just blender being free and then the vast libraries of free assets being out there it just makes it so much easier to make the artwork if you're an industry artist and if you're a professional artist you know how hard it is to get started you know how hard it is to like find the right resources ask the right questions find out where to start get over obstacles of learning a new program all that stuff is really hard it's not easy but the easier it was made for you, whether it be like a good resource or a friend that you knew that knew this program or, or you had access to people through a forum or through social media or something like that, you know when you can get a little bit of help through that one little thing you're struggling with, it makes so much of a difference because sometimes, you know, obstacles get in the way and you're just kind of like, well, I'm running out of steam. I don't have the energy to go, go through this. So I'm just gonna take a break and then that break turns into like a much longer break and then you fall off. So all of that long kind of like yapping to say that when products are not only free, but they are good, it just makes learning and exercising art way easier and way more fun. And I fully support that. Back to <laughs> explaining how this, I'm super sorry. I'm just really passionate about that kind of stuff. Yes, the add-on. So you basically pay 30 bucks, you get their entire library. If, if you've ever added files to the asset browser, you know how kind of tedious it can be to keep everything organized and to make sure everything's being referenced properly, nothing's being unlinked. And I just love that here, everything is, is categorized. I mean, that's just like another little tiny quality of life thing. Here, I threw a texture on here, this little like, mossy aerial grass rock texture you can see so it has like the displacement on by default and i usually personally get rid of that i don't need that i don't need all that extra data so the add-on comes with this like little polyhaven thing here you hit the drop down it just gives you a bit of info you can fix the texture scale so if you're applying the texture if you're driving drag and dropping the texture onto a really giant model so the texture here looks good but the texture here is like not to the scale so if i click fix texture scale, it'll just go into the tiling here and it'll increase the scale to match the scale of your object. So super handy, really one click kind of thing. The other thing I like is that they have the resolution drop down here. So by default, everything is at 1K, but if you wanna go up to 8K or sometimes even 16K, Again, this works for the textures, this works for the HDRI, this works for the models and the textures on the models themselves. So let's go to 2K on this. Uh, let me drop an HDRI in here like this. So the background, you can see it's just a little bit fuzzy. It's like a little pixelated right here in the world properties, the drop down, 
it goes up to 16K. I don't need that. I'm just going to go to TK and it downloads it and then it updates it automatically. So just a lot of little quality of life stuff. I mean, there's a, I think there's a lot of add-ons out there that give you a lot of control and give you a lot of customizable features. And those are all great. But for me, I just want to make art. I don't want to go and mess with a bunch of sliders and mess with a bunch of things. I don't know. It's simple. It's easy. And you can move on to the next thing and you can just like trust that it's going to work. Uh, the other thing, and probably the last thing I want to talk about is that they have this fetch assets um, capability. So they update their website, their library, like every week, I want to say with new textures, new models, new HDRIs, all that kind of stuff. And for that reason, because they're constantly updating it, it doesn't automatically update the library. So you can go here and you can click fetch new assets. You can download all of them, or you can just download the HDRIs or the textures or the models, whichever that you prioritize for yourself. As far as I understand it, with the downloading, it downloads a 1K version of everything. So all the HDRIs, all of the textures, all of the models, it downloads a 1K res version of it. And if you want a higher res, you would kind of go to this drop down area, select 4K, and I think I would assume it's downloading it from the website and putting it on your computer. So be careful with the amount of high resolution textures and materials that you fetch because those are being stored on your machine locally somewhere wherever the asset browser is kind of like attached to it's putting those files there and that goes into if you want to get rid of those if you want to get rid of the assets you do have to go to that folder and just manually delete them there's no like automatic deleting thing i it's it feels too good to be true like what Polyhaven is doing. And I fear maybe it's just because I'm a little bit like, I'm trying to be optimistic, but man, sometimes a lot of really good free products like this, they sometimes will just get bought out by like a large company or something. It just happens. So I don't know. While these guys are not being bought out, I don't want to like spread any rumor, but like, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. This add-on and the quality of the products they provide or yeah, you should definitely be supporting them on Patreon. If you're not, uh, you should at least buy their add-on if you're going to use their stuff and tell your friends about it. I don't know. I mean, like this add-on I use a ton and it just, it's good. That's all. That's, that's not really much I can say, but yeah, so I'll put a link to the add-on in the description, you know, just go to their website, get the assets for free, or you can use the, the add-on, but yeah, that's it. See ya. I think... oh, there's a stain. I had like three pints of ice cream back to back. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not ashamed to admit that. Hey, Hagen does if you want to sponsor my channel, I'm, I'll take that. I mean, I don't know what that has to do with 3D or Blender, but I'll sculpt some ice cream if that's what it takes.